Hello, this is Miss Carrie at the Waukee Public Library. For today's Teen Maker Monday, we are making blackout poetry. For making blackout poetry, uh, you will need an either an old book um, that's kind of falling apart uh, that you can rip pages out of. I know that will hurt a lot of people's feelings, but sometimes books are old and falling apart. So that's one way we can let them live a little longer. So we're gonna go ahead and rip out a page or two or however many you want out of an old book. Or uh, if you have a newspaper or a magazine, you can use that too if that makes you feel a little better. And then you're gonna want some scratch paper, maybe a pencil, and a permanent black marker. And then what you're gonna do, the scratch paper is really just to protect your table or your work surface um, to keep the marker from bleeding through and then you get it all in trouble because you got marker on the table. We don't want that. So go ahead and have your scratch paper or cardboard or something to put underneath of your work surface. And then what you're going to do in regular poetry, of course, you're writing words um, and in blackout poetry, there's already words on these pages from the book. So you can be creative in a couple of different ways with blackout poetry. You can make poetry in a shape by circling some of the words and then blackout poetry because we black out literally the rest of the words on the page with the marker. Um, or you can kind of study the page and look at the words that kind of jump out at you and then you can kind of circle or underline or mark them in some way. Uh, the words that you think might sort of make a poem. Oh, it doesn't have to be a perfect poem. You can play around, it can be silly, it can be sad, it can be sweet. What depends partly what kind of story you've torn the pages from. Um, but either way, when, if you see some words that seem like a poem to you. You can underline them with your pencil first and then that helps you to go back and you can draw a box around them or just leave them open and mark out the rest. You can kind of do it either way you want. And if you really want to black out poetry, you could black out the whole rest of the page and not leave any spaces. I just crossed out the words for my blackout poetry, but really you could turn the whole rest of the page black um, and that would be a true blackout poetry. And then your only words left would be the words to your poem. So have fun, be creative. Um, yeah, and have fun. <laughs>